Hello students, we are back again with another lesson in maths. Lesson number 6, Angles. Students, in this lesson, we will learn how to measure angle, how to draw an angle, types of angles. With that, we will also learn about parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Children, You studied about right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle in your previous class. Children, this is a right angle. This is an acute angle. This is an obtuse angle. In this lesson, we will learn more about angles. So, let's begin. Children, here you all can see this is angle A, B, C. We can call the angle A, B, C or angle C, B, A. Both are correct. Children, the symbol angle represents the word angle. We use this symbol to write Angle A, B, C. We can also write angle C, B, A. So children, instead of writing angle A, B, C and angle C, B, A. We will write Angle A, B, C and angle C, B, A. Children, this symbol represents an angle. Here, one diagram is there. By using this diagram, we are going to write name of the angle. After that, vertex and Arms of an angle. So children, we will start writing that. Children, very first we are going to write name of the angle. We can start from P also or we can start from R also. So first we will write angle P, Q, R. After that, R, Q, P. Children, you can write in this way or in this way. Both are correct. After that, tell me the vertex. Vertex means common point. Here, the vertex is Q. Means this is the common point. Our next column is we have to write arms of an angle. Children, arms of an angle means QR and QP. Children, arms means the lines which are coming from the vertex Q. So here QR and QP are the arms of an angle. Children, now can you all tell me the name of this angle? Yes, the name of this angle is angle TSB. Or we can write BST. Now tell me the vertex. Yes, vertex means the common point. Here the common point is S. In the next column we will write arms of an angle. Arms means the lines which are coming from the vertex. So here arms are ST and SB. Children, I hope. 
Now we are very cleared with this. We will move to the next subtopic. Children, here I have written the protractor. Can you all tell me the meaning of protractor? See here, this is the protractor. A protractor is used to measure an angle and also to draw an angle according to a given measure. Children, you studied about acute angle, obtuse angle and right angle. But you don't know how to draw and how to measure angle. For that, we are going to use this protractor. A protractor is semi-circular in shape. Here you all can see. If I will draw this, it will be half circle. Half circle means semi-circle. The semi-circular edge of a protractor is divided into 180 equal parts. Complete circle is of 360 degree. So, 360 divided by 2 means half circle will be, semicircle will be 180 degree. This semicircle is divided into 180 equal parts. Each part is 1 degree. 1 degree is written as 1 degree. The divisions on a protractor, that is, the degrees can be marked in two ways. The divisions 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 till 180 are marked anti-clockwise or from right to left. The divisions 0, 10, 20, 30 till 180 are also marked clockwise or serially from left to right. So children, this is the center of the protractor. Here you all can see this is the center of the protractor. For measuring angle or for drawing angle, we are going to use this center. Now I will show you how to measure angles using a protractor. Measuring angles. Children, now tell me the vertex. Yes, why is the vertex? Tell me the name of an angle. X, Y, Z. Or we can say Z, Y, X. Now, on vertex, I am going to keep the center of protractor. Children, can you all see that this line is exactly falling on 60? So, children, we can say that the measure of angle x, y, z is 60 degree. Children, for this we will use center of the protractor. Children, here once 60 is there. But how, why I have extended this line? Children, extending the arms of the angle does not change the measure of the angle. Is it clear? Now we will check the next angle. I am going to keep the center on the vertex. The name of this angle is D E F. The measure of angle D E F is dash. Now tell me the measurement. Children, our next arm is here. Means our point is here. So we will start measuring from here. 
so we will follow 0 10 20 30 we are starting from here so we will count from 0 not from 180 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 children the measure of angle def is 120 degree children i hope you all understood how to measure angles now we are going to learn drawing an angle means how to draw an angle here your question is draw angle abc of measure 70 degree children first draw arm bc with a ruler For drawing an arm, we can take any major. Here I am going to take 8 cm. This is B, C. Here B is the vertex. We must draw a 70 degree angle at that point. Now, Put the center of the protractor on B. Okay children. Now tell me. Where is our another point? Here. So start counting from here. Okay. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Mark here. Children here I am going to use sketch pins. Why I am using sketch pins? Because so that you can see this clearly. But you will use pencil. Now. Children we can extend the line. So I am going to extend the line. Right here. 70 degree okay children so angle abc is angle of measure 70 degree we will see the next question draw angle u v w of measure 90 degree for that, first we are going to draw arm. Again, I am going to take measure 8 cm V W. After that, we will put the center of the protractor on V. From where we will start counting. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and here is your 90. Children, count the division starting from the 0 near point W. Children, because our point is here, so we will start counting from this side, means our right hand side. If your point is here, then you can start Counting from the left side. Now. Here you are having point. Draw this line. Name the point. U. So children. Here, angle UVW is angle of measure 90 degree. For 90 degree, we use this box sign. It means this angle is of 90 degree. Children, 
Our next question is draw angle XYZ of measure 130 degree. Children, now tell me what will be our first step? Yes, our first step will be that we are going to draw an arm. We will draw M, arm YZ. Y, Z. After that, we will put center of the protractor on Y. From where we will start counting? From Z. Count the division starting from the 0 near point Z. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and 110, 120. Here 130 is there. Mark a point with your pencil at the division that shows 130 degree. Children, you are going to use pencil. Now lift the protractor. Draw a line from vertex Y. Name the other end of the line. X. The measure of this angle is 130 degree. So, angle XYZ is angle of measure 130 degree. Now, children, we will learn types of angles. Our first type is right angle. Angle ABC is a right angle. Here, you all can see the symbol. I told you, ch children, the symbol represents 90 degree. Angles of measure 90 degree are called right angles. So children 90 degree means right angle. 90 degree means right angle. Angle ABC or angle CBA is a right angle. Our second type is acute angle. Angle RST measures Less than 90 degree. That is less than a right angle. But cho ye acute angle kaise hota hai? Ye right angle se chota hota hai. It means this will acute angle will be 10 degree, 20 degree, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. So an angle which measures less than a right angle is called an acute angle. Here, angle RST is an acute angle. 90 se jo chota hota hai, wo hota hai acute angle. Our third type is obtuse angle. Angle L, M, N measures more than 90 degree. That is more than a right angle. Means, 90 ke aage, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. Ye sabhi jo rahenge, wo hoge humare obtuse angle. Children, an angle which measures more than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. Here, Angle L, M, N is an obtuse angle. In the same way, we can start reading an angle from N. Angle N, M, N is an obtuse angle. So children, now tell me which are the three types of angles? Yes, right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle. Children, I told you that I will teach you about parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Can you all tell me which picture it is? Yes, this is the picture of railway track. 
children parallel lines never intersect each other here i am going to draw two lines children these are the two lines children check whether they are intersecting each other वो एक दूसरे को टच हो रहे हैं चिल्ड्रेन जब तक आप इन्हें एक्सटेंड करते जाओगे वो एक्सटेंड होते जाएंगे पैरल लाइन्स डू नॉट इंटरसेक्ट ईच अदर नो मैटर हाउ फार दे आर एक्सटेंडेड ऑन आईदर साइड सच लाइन्स आर नोन एज पैरल लाइन्स एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स यू कैन सीन योर सराउंडिंग्स बार्स ऑफ द विंडो steps on the ladder vertical legs of the ladder they are all parallel lines parallel lines kabhi bhi ek dusre ko touch nahi hote hain here these two lines they are intersecting each other they are touching each other when two lines form an angle of 90 degree here you all can see i have marked 90 degree so children they are said to be perpendicular to each other this symbol is drawn between them to show that they are perpendicular lines children i think you all understood the lines which are perpendiculars and lines which are parallel lines okay children students i think now you all are very cleared with the lesson angles thank you